God save the king, God save the king, God save the king, oh Canada, we are here back with the Victoria 2 Canadian Let's Play, so we are here back, and as you guys know, our economy is booming, like, we are having the biggest surge of money I've ever seen in my country, and right now, we're trying to figure out how we spend this all, I mean, we have, we just, I feel like we just don't have enough, like, I keep trying to find ways to keep spending more and more, but it's just like, what do I spend this on? What? Um, over here, I'm going to build a telephone factory in Alaska. We want to make sure that we keep technologically advanced. So, oh, oh, and last episode, we realized what the needs of our people are. Um, basically, they want basic needs, so I'm going to see, do I have almost everything that they need? Um, doesn't seem like I actually have a furniture factory, which I'm kind of shocked about. Um, what's the nearest place to Ontario? What's the nearest region to Ontario? Ontario borders this little region of Manitoba. Okay, Manitoba, um, I'm gonna build a furniture factory. Where's the furniture factory? Furniture, furniture, furniture factory right here. Okay, gonna build you guys a furniture factory. And I guess, yeah, I guess that's basically it. So yeah, we are basically here in our um, campaign again where, you know, I've decided also Besides just like improving our relationships with our own people so that they start moving up to more higher class things, I've also decided that we should probably extend our massive fact our massive forts on the border because apparently America already has like level three forts and that's just it makes me feel so scared. So again, as I usually do, I'll be right back when I finish up building the rest of these forts on the border. So be right back. Okay, it seems like not all of them are done yet, so um you know, I just want to wait for them to all be done, so I'll probably go check up on that at the end of the year. But, um, what I was about to say was, um, I've decided that since our main problem right now is that we need a couple different resources. That, um, while we do have a lot of stuff from our Chinese, Chinese conquest, we don't have everything we need. So, um, what I've decided to do is, um, actually, I've been, okay, sorry about that, just... I forgot I accidentally pressed for apps instead of like the save button, but we're back here so it doesn't really matter. So what I was going to say is that I finally decided, you know, I'm just going to conquer this region right here. And, you know, the Japanese are better than us in a lot of these areas. Like, internally they have a better inc economy, they have a better army than we do, but we have two of the biggest people, like legitimately the biggest people in the entire game on our side. So I doubt they would ever join in on this. And I'm hoping out of this... Conquest, we are not going to rack up much infamy because I don't think I could take it. Um, so we're going to be watching that situation unfold. Um, actually, no, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably will rack up a lot of infamy because um, this is a a country already controls it. So I'm going to stay in this mode for a very long time because you don't seem to get as many pop ups if you're in this mode. And I just realized that it's really late right now, so I'm going to start talking. Um, like my quiet self, like I usually do in some of my episodes. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to wake up my mom. The missus is, oh, shoot. Okay. Um, the gold rush, that's very good. We still got gold rushes going on. Um, we'll work on management. And then we'll start working on our, all these again. And we basically have a good management. Okay, get back to here. I don't want to, um, I, I don't want to, I have to at least get half of the infamy. I can't, if I get any more, then I'm probably going to go over, and that means I'm probably going to have to release, well, um, that means I'm probably going to have to release a nation I don't want to release, like Korea, which wouldn't really do much for me. And no, I will not release anything from Canada. I know I was debating that a while back, but no, I will not do that. Ooh, colonial. Um, an archaeological expedition, one of our colonies, has yielded fantastic results in the form of several artifacts, tentatively delegated to, to the late Paleolithic. If you, the Paleolithic is like basically 8,000 to 4,000 BC, if you guys want to know. The discovery promises to give us a new insight into ancient life and development of the area. The Canadian National Archaeological Society is hailing discoveries as a great breakthrough for Canadian archaeology. The artifacts obviously need to be put in a museum, but where should we put them? The archaeologists just started strongly always in favor of the Ottawa Museum of History, while others have hinted that it might be better to put them in a local museum. Just display the bubbles somewhere locally. This will teach future generations about the common heritage of mankind. 
They need to be put in a national museum. They need to be put back in our hometown Canada. Okay, come on. Okay, so yeah, we have anti no, we have an anti-military government. I just realized that. That is not helping us at all. And our war justification efficiency is not also great. Um, this is really making me nervous. That's and like I said, it seems like if you stay in this mode a lot, it doesn't seem So they finally did. Let's see. Okay, you finally made it. Let me first group you guys up, divide them. You got you guys. Okay, now we got two armies. Uh, this should be able to handle. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's really too much. It doesn't seem like there's too much that we couldn't handle. Okay, so let's see how that goes in the next coming months. I'm not sure that communist revolution probably won't succeed. But in this game, you really never know. Um, Russia definitely still hates us, but at least they hate us a little bit less. And how's America doing? Because America is... America is definitely a wild card, and we don't need them to be, because... We need to make sure if we were to fight America, we need to fight them on our own terms, and... We need to get a lot more people, um... Searching for rebels. So we want to make sure that... We hunt them all down. And we have enough armies over here to do that. So let's do that. And Chile and Ecuador, we... Can we can increase- Oh, these are increased opinions! Okay. I was like, what's happening? Okay, so we can increase opinion in Ecuador. Now we're friendly with Ecuador. Chile, we can increase opinion. Now we're cordial with Chile. Okay, 49, 50. Okay, I'm a little bit calmer now that we have 50%. Okay, and it doesn't seem like... 7. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I don't know why this mode, like... It's... Yep, see? Only 3.9 infamy. That's actually really, really good. That means we don't have to, like, you know, have a high amount of infamy going somewhere, and... Whew, that's really good. <laughs> that's just really good, because that means we don't have to worry about stuff, and I'm going to increase craftsmen in one of my regions. That's really what we need. Okay, where's a good developing region? Okay, Yucatan seems like I'm developing a lot, so I'm going to increase craftsmen efficiency over there. And, yeah, the rest of these regions I already have craftsmen being made. Seems like we're doing pretty good, and our luxurious factory is actually doing really really well on um, my automotive factory I'm really curious to see how it does I want to see if we start beating those stupid Germans okay let's see actually wait wait yes um, we are being 0.07 we are beating the Germans but not for long because the Germans seem to not even like be engaged um the telephones we are the only producers of telephones that is a great accomplishment and we are the second producers of electrical gears that is a great accomplishment right there we are definitely, I feel like a Canada is definitely doing the right things in this game. And now we can kind of relax because we only have 3.9 infamy from our Tensons. Of course not. Whatever. Okay, so we only have 3.9 infamy from our um, Conquest of Zengxing, which is honestly good. That's very, very good. So that means we really don't have to worry about um, many, many things. So that means we can just do, okay, so Chile, we can kind of get Chile, okay, Chile, you're almost, okay, we are so close to being like buddies, Chile, we are so close, I can't wait till we are buddies, because that will be awesome, okay, but yeah, we are, we are getting really, really close to um, being able to annex Zing Sing, which means then we'll have a good supply of, okay, so, um, I'm not sure how quickly we'll be able to do this, I'm not sure we'll be able to do this quickly, because I still have a couple of, Dang, you guys stink. Okay, you guys go over there. Why'd you guys not go to kick their butt? Ah. Uh, yeah, let's go kill those stupid rebels before we do anything. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay. You guys back to the border. Okay, and actually, no way, wait, wait. We need to actually start arming ourselves on the border. Yeah, I haven't even really prepared for this. Oh, sure, I haven't. I did not even get any of you guys to start fighting rebels. Oh. I didn't even know I had to, to be honest with you. Um, well, let's see. Really, I just have to make sure the British join in. So, if I were to declare war right now, would the British join in? Declare war, establish a protectorate, would the British join in? Maybe. The Germans are completely enthusiastic about joining. So, do I do it now? Sure, why not? And the British are not going to join in. The treacherous Germans? 
What? And then the... What? And then the British join in? How does that work? The Germans won, like, very lightly, and then... The, uh... What? Okay, uh... That's weird and interesting. So, um, hopefully with the armies, hopefully... Yeah, it seems like the, the other allies, Quinn Yang, did not join in on this war, which is good. I'm just gonna let, um, the, uh, British deal with it, as usual. I definitely win the British. Okay, and you guys want alliance again? Sure, I'll be alliance with you, Germany, even though you guys double-crossed me. It's always good to know you guys will have my back in a real fight. Thanks. But then again, they, even if they do not help me in real life, they still help me in just, like... Um, rebels have truly risen in Mexico. Are they actually serious? Okay, if these rebels take over, I will be severely mad because they have a 22 stack and they have... Mexico, get, get your act together, seriously. Don't you dare be taken over by these rebels. Get your act together. Mexico, what are you doing? Mexico, what are you doing? Mexico. And it seems like... Seems like we have control over our rebel problem. Um, yeah, it seems like we dealt with every single one of the rebels over there. Yeah, we we are sitting pretty on top of the world. We I guess I could probably do the end of this recording. Oh, you, you guys really do think you guys can have a chance against me? Okay, I'm gonna go send my soldiers after you. That's really funny. Okay. And apparently, did not the British join in? Yeah, the British did join in. So did I not give them military access? A oh, military access. The British, good news. Hmm. Maybe the British have learned to not just go in. Well, and just let me try to deal with my own problems. Maybe that's... Maybe they're actually trying to teach me a lesson. Blood and roses. We are in it to win it. That's really where we're at. I mean, we're really not losing, to be honest with you. I mean, it may look like it, but we're really not. We still have enough internal power to just still kick these guys butts all the way I mean the British on I guess the British kind of realized this isn't really really that important of their power because now since we have done much more in our country we should be able to handle it but we still do need some help from the British to it from time to time but you know we're, we're trying to like slowly gain away from that and now we can build integral railroads which is awesome and I want to end this episode in about three minutes so let's see if we can conquer uh, more communists have invaded my country. Um, we got that under control, though. And... It's like, we should try again. I thought that was success, so I was like, yay! Wait, no. Okay, and you guys... Once you guys are done, I'm probably gonna move you guys all the way over here, because I want to make sure you guys are right on the capital, just in case, because I don't want my uh, places to be conquered. And... I don't know, we have... 6.92 million in the bank right now. Okay. Go take out the stupid army of them. I really don't like them roaming around my country. Like, I, I don't like them roaming around my China. And I know I didn't disinclude them from the actual empire. Empire, but you know, we can honestly include them. It wouldn't be that big of a thing, and it'd be kind of nice to have them. Okay. So let's do that. You guys move up here. Okay, and my army is definitely going to slaughter all of... Wait, really? Are you guys... No, you guys aren't westernized, but for some reason we're having difficulties. I think it's because of the modifiers. Like, this is extreme hills and stuff, so I think that's the only reason why we're losing. But we, we're still winning in the end. <laughs> we still win in the end. We have the best. We have the best in this game. Still, still very shocked the, the Mexicans aren't moving in to go help their own capital. Um, you guys, I'm moving you guys all the way over here to our capital, that way we can defend it. Um, alright, and we have another modifier that we could do in terms of what we can do, so, what should we do? Hmm, I guess courage, encourage craftsmen in Manitoba, because they're getting a lot of new stuff, and they're going to need a lot of new workers. Okay, and we have conquered basically everything. Don't you dare go to railroads. I mean, don't you dare go hunting rebels right now. We need to conquer the rest of this. That way we have an entire land access from our northern Asian empire to our southern Asian empire, which looks... Ooh, we are looking so close to annexing all of China. 
I am so happy of the progression the progression our country has made okay and we got all these events oh my goodness no way no way no way where the heck are they okay they're actually all in China really oh never mind then wait are they in America are they in my country too nope they're in my country too of course they have to be in my country too uh, okay well, of course, as I do in almost every Let's Play, I really don't care. I'm, I'm going to put these guys over here on... I'm going to put these guys, like, right over here because... Okay, we're back. Um, basically what happened, guys, was, um... To be honest with you, to be bluntly honest with you, I made a mistake in the Peace Treaty. Where instead of getting white, instead of getting, like, this entire region for myself because I actually, you know, earned it, because I actually did fight for it. Basically, for some reason, the options only let me choose white peace. And so I was, I got white peace with them and I got really mad because it's like, what? What? Wait, what? I didn't get my region? You know, I didn't really like that and because I had spent the infamy for it. So, you know, I went back, like, a couple of months. I mean, it only took us, like, two months to really conquer the entire region. It was... We finished up in February, and so, you know, we haven't really, we did not really miss that much time. I have not done that much. So now we're just going to, like, finish off what I did last time, which was finish off them. Finish off the rest of their army. Then move, ah. The USA keeps expelling me. How are we doing in Quin Yang? Have we moved, have we made any progress with this place? Um, yes, we have. They're starting to concentrate over here a little bit less, which is good. So that maybe we can... Wait. Forward! 50% socialist, everyone! Yay! Okay. And we are severely falling behind in terms of industrial power. So... Build massive factories? Build massive factories. Okay, so what do we need? Let's make kind of a mini... Luxurious clothes. So let's build like a clothes factory over here. And then build a luxurious clothes factory right over there. Now we have two things of fireworks and it also should be going a little bit better now that we're doing stuff. And let's move our army over here. And it seems like it's taking us slightly longer to conquer everything now. I don't know why. We have a high militancy right now. A high end militancy. Let's see. Phrasing is going to be Okay. Can we adapt some of these things? Yes, we can. So let's see. What are you guys really like knocking me on? 1.5. 2.6. Well, you guys are really wanting a lot of things. Okay, but you guys really want acceptable minimum wage, and I can do that. Acceptable minimum wage is something I can definitely do, and that just brought us down by a lot. Oh, uh, you know, that's actually kind of good because imagine what could have happened. Those communists could have rep, could have rep, uh, could have risen up and destroyed us. Okay, now that we completely annexed you guys. Oh, I think the uh, yeah, the. British had already done that for me, so I just want to thank you guys for watching this episode. It was a little bit, little, very, very much disjointed. I'm sorry about that, but we got what we wanted. We got this little region right here, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.